Welcome back to the High Yield Video Question Bank. This is the series where I give you practice questions so that when you sit for USMLE or Comlex, your brain has already seen this information before and you're able to pick up free points on test day. Here's our question. An experiment is being conducted on a subject with an unknown genetic disorder. The subject is noted to have markedly elevated elastin levels, leading to a variety of impaired metabolic, dermatologic, and respiratory functions. Which of the following amino acids is most likely to be elevated in this patient? A. Glutamine B. Lysine C. Histidine D. Serine or E. Glycine Pause the video if you need some time to think about it. And now I'll go ahead and give you the correct answer. So as you can probably tell by looking at this question, this is not a third order question. This is a first order question where you just have to associate something in the vignette with the correct answer. This isn't that complex, this isn't that complicated, but I'm giving you this practice question because unfortunately this does show up on exams and it's just frankly something that you need to know. So the correct answer here is choice B, lysine. Now if you look at the clinical vignette, what I'm telling you is that our subject with an unknown genetic disorder has markedly elevated elastin. And what's very important to know for exams is that elastin contains a very, very significant amount of lysine. So as you get changes in elastin, so too do you get changes in lysine. And this is really important to understand for exams. I understand that if you're taking this question, you might be like, yo, dirty, what the heck? Because it's a stupid question, to be honest. It is stupid that you have to associate lysine with elastin. But because of how often this shows up on exams, I wanted to create a practice question so that hopefully you remember this if you're taking USMLE or you're taking Comlex and you get this free point. But just to do what I usually do in these questions, let's look at the other possible answer choices and ask ourselves what might the vignette have thrown out to us if they wanted us to pick a different amino acid. So choice A, glutamine, it, you remember that if you're gonna have changes in glutamine, you're probably going to see that in metabolic disorders that affect nitrogen metabolism. Choice C, histidine, you could see changes in histidine associated with systemic mastocytosis. Choice D, serine, obviously defects in serine biosynthesis, and more specifically, serine is very intimately associated with enzyme function. So anything having to do with enzymes or, of course, serine biosynthesis would change levels of serine. And then lastly, choice E, glycine. We see changes in glycine in our collagenopathies or problems with structural proteins. So again, big takeaway from this question, and again, I apologize, I know it's just a first order question, and you're like, yo, give me the third, give me the third order ones. Um, lysine equals elastin. And sometimes how I memorize that is elysine, like elastin just kind of changed the second half of the word, so it's elysine, and then you can associate elastin with lysine. But that's all, I hope this is useful for you, and I hope this gives you a free point on test day.